Are you wondering if you should use puppy pads for your Boston Terrier? In this video, I'm gonna share both the pros and the cons of using puppy pads. I'm also gonna draw on the insights of other Boston Terrier owners, as well as share my personal experience of using puppy pads for Bella. This is not a puppy pad training video. This is just helping you decide whether or not puppy pads is the best option for you and your Boston. Coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. Definitely consider subscribing if you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. Over there is Bella, my Boston of over a decade. And today I actually wanna answer a question that came from the comments and it comes from Cindy. And she asked, how do you feel about using puppy pads for your Boston Terrier? First off, as far as my personal opinion, I think it's fine. Whether or not you use a puppy pad or not, I'm totally cool with it. But I wanna go ahead and just share with you the pros and cons of using puppy pads, as well as give you some insights as far as what other Boston Terrier owners say, and then just kind of my personal opinion at the end. Okay, so the very first thing that I wanna cover are the pros and the cons of using puppy pads. So first, let's go over you know some good reasons as to why you should be using puppy pads. Obviously, number one, they're great to use whenever you're gonna be away for long periods of time, allowing your dog to actually go ahead and go to the bathroom in the house. Number two, this is my personal favorite, is no need to wash. If you use this style of puppy pad, they just go on it and then you can toss it in the trash. Obviously, there's some environmental downsides. We'll cover that in the cons. Number three, you can buy puppy pads that actually have some odor desensitizing or odor eliminators within the puppy pads themselves. So it goes ahead and kills the smell on it. And number four, super easy to store. Here's these puppy pads, you know, this is a 50 pads, right? And it's super easy to store. We haven't used puppy pads for Bella for over a year and we still have puppy pads, but we'll cover that later. So those are the four pros of using puppy pads. Now here are the three cons that I could come up with. And con number one is obviously you're training your Boston Terrier to now go potty inside, right? And that's something that you wanna eliminate altogether because once you start allowing them to go potty inside, that just, you know, puts in their mind that it is okay to go potty in the house. Number two, from my personal experience, Bella will tear those puppy pads up. If she gets bored or if she's having a little bit of bout of separation anxiety, which we have worked through, right, Bella? Bella? Right. We've worked through that, but if they do suffer from some sort of separation anxiety, they will tear up the puppy pads. And separation anxiety was so bad, Bella would even eat her poop. So that is something that you might have to deal with, where if you go ahead and do not use the puppy pads and you train them, to basically be in a kennel, then you wouldn't have to worry about that. So that's number two, they'll tear up the puppy pads. And number three, you know, these pads are a single use item, right? So as soon as it's used, you throw it away and it's just adding more stuff to landfills that we don't need. So there are some alternatives that you can use. There are like, you know, those little grass pads that you can actually wash. And that's one option. Instead of using puppy pads, you can use those grass pads. And I've seen some people within the Boston Terrier community who use like it's literal grass and dirt. So there are options like that out there. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave some in the show notes below, just so if you guys wanna check those out. But that is the third con, that these are single use items. So it does add to extra waste that's kind of unnecessary if you're just gonna train your Boston Terrier to go outside and go potty. And I know what some of you are thinking, but you're also gonna have to have poop bags. They do have some biodegradable poop bags as well. So that is my pros and cons list on whether or not you should actually use puppy pads for your Boston. Now what I wanna cover are basically two polls that I've done. One was on the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group. There's 8,000 members there. And then also on the Twitter community, which there's over a thousand members there. And I asked two different questions. So the very first one was, does your Boston Terrier use puppy pads? This is what I put out for Twitter. There were 62 votes and surprisingly 83% of those said no, they do not use puppy pads for their Boston Terrier, which I thought was really surprising because we used to use puppy pads on Bella. And I thought that was the norm. That was one interesting number. Now the next poll comes from the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group. And I asked, do you put down puppy pads for your Boston Terrier? Now, once again, very surprising. So I had 61 votes that said no, they do not put down puppy pads for their Boston or 78% of those respondents said no. So if you're wondering if other Boston Terrier owners are using these puppy pads, the answer is no. Now I will say as far as this general question, maybe I should have made it more specific as far as do you put puppy pads down for your younger Boston Terrier? I bet a majority would say yes. Basically, if they're in that first 12 week stage, I think you should absolutely use puppy pads, right? Just because 
it's gonna, one, if they're not vaccinated, your vet probably recommends not taking them outdoors until their vaccinations are complete. And then number two, they're not able to hold themselves. So you're gonna have to put them in some area where they can actually go to the bathroom. Now, as far as me being a dog trainer, I'm not, that's just my personal opinion. If you want more insights into this and you wanna to talk to the Boston Terrier Society community, definitely check out the Facebook group. I'll put it in the show notes below so you can check out the link and become a member. Okay, now my personal take on all of this, as far as using puppy pads, would I do it, you know, if we, went back in time with Bella, no. We would actually go ahead and do proper crate training and that way we are never teaching Bella to go potty inside. She's learning that the only place you go potty is outdoors. I mean, we are using puppy pads all the way up until last year. So out of nine years of Bella's 10 year life, she's used puppy pads. We put them down every time we left to go anywhere, whether or not it was away for an hour or we went away for work. Where I think if we would have done proper crate training from the very beginning, we wouldn't have had all the accidents that we had. I mean, there was a time, I mean, our apartment complex smelled so bad because Bella had a certain spot that she always went and pee, peed in, even whenever we would try to clean it and everything. But proper crate training from the very beginning, I believe would have helped eliminate that just because she would have never known to go potty indoors. And I do think it's better for them to go outdoors uh, for really three reasons. Number one, it's getting them out of the house, which is a good thing. Number two, they know to go to potty outside. That's their place to go to the bathroom. And number three, which is my favorite, it saves you money. You're not buying puppy pads all the time. And I wasn't planning on this in the video, but I'm gonna say number four, it saves you on frustration, right? I would be so frustrated whenever I would come home and Bella has torn apart her puppy pad all over the place. And that is very frustrating. Where if, you know, we would have been doing proper crate training and everything, whenever we come home, we would take her out, we would play with her, have her go potty, and everything would be hunky-dory. So my recommendation to you is to weigh out all these odds. Once again, my personal opinion, if I could do it all over again, I would do proper crate training. And you've heard from other Boston Terrier owners, looks like a good majority of them do not use puppy pads. And once again, I don't use puppy pads anymore. So I hope this video helps at least answer your question or at least gives you a little more insight into whether or not you should use it for your Boston. Question of the day, are you gonna use puppy pads for your Boston Terrier? Why or why not? Put them in the comments below, just because I think this will help people that come to this video give deeper insight to it. Also, if you've successfully trained a Boston Terrier to use puppy pads, or even crate training for that matter, definitely share your stuff in the comments below, just because it'll also help people that come to this video for the very first time. And once again, thank you so much for watching today's video. Definitely subscribe to this YouTube channel if you wanna get the latest from Boston Terrier Society. Also, if you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers in that first year stage, definitely check out this video I did with Haley where she talks about basically the first year of having Bloom, her Boston Terrier, or you can check out one of my latest videos here. And as always, until next time, life is better with a Boston.